When I was 13, 14 years old, if you'd have lined me up with everybody else and picked out who had a, a destined to, to have a career in Major League Baseball, I would probably be your last pick. Didn't have a whole lot of talent, and I think lacking in size, too, just really put me behind the curve. And so I always worked hard to try to live up to where I thought I should be and play at the, the level of the guys that, that I was with at the time. I got called up in 2000, and my first experience on a major league field was pretty overwhelming. And I remember my feet just hardly hitting the ground. I felt like every time I went out and took the mound, it was a do or die. I created pressure for myself and felt like I had to live up to this expectation and each time had to be a little bit better than the last time in order for me to keep excelling. It was right before the uh, 2003 season, and I had just gone through a pretty rough year. Uh, injuries and just not performing well, and, and I remember prior to spring training just coming to a point where you know, I had been working so hard, and I remember prior to that 2003 season just coming to a realization that I'm, I'm just tired. I'm at the end of my rope. I think it was at that time that, that God really spoke to me and said, when are you going to quit trying and start trusting? And it was at that point, I think, that I just gave up. And I prayed uh, right before spring training that, you know, God, I don't know where you're going to put me this year. I don't know what plans you have for me, but I know there is a plan, and I'm just going to trust that this year and not try anymore, not, not, you know, make it be make or break every time I go out there, but just trust that you're gonna put me wherever you have me and I wanna just honor you with everything that I do and not worry so much about hanging on to my career so tightly. I think that's really where my faith became real to me. I experienced God for the first time um, in, a, in a real way. I know that he's faithful, and I know that he'll never forsake me. The things that he wanted for me were so much better than what I was wanting. He had a plan for me in my baseball career. He's got a plan for me in my spiritual life with him. And he's just going to continue to shape me and, and fit me and mold me until the final day when I get to go be wrapped up in his arms.